By the way, have you bought your tickets? I didn't see anywhere near enough of these ones in the comments section. If you haven't bought tickets, you need to, right? We will not change the culture in this country if we do not rally uh, a large group of kingdom business people who do business God's way, who together we can put a show of force, who we can worship God together. We will never put business back in the center of the marketplace. We won't do kingdom business if we don't rally. And this is just our part that we get to play in facilitating some of that. So yeah. tickets are on sale now. They're $79 for the first ticket and they're only $20 each ticket after that for up to five. So it's an amazing deal and it won't be around for much longer. So jump over to kingdombusiness.com.au and buy your tickets and that will make me happy. Richie's. IGA? Uh, um, yep. yep. So they, they, they were interviewed and, and speaking about... Um, why they are the only retail or grocery store that's not going online and click to collect and everything like that. And so they're, they're now, they're saying that obviously Woolworths and Coles and everything are investing so much money. There's, there's an Im, Im, immense investment on making that experience right for online. Um, but he's saying, I, I, want, I want to try to make us the best bricks and mortar, give the best experience because all that money's being wasted there and then then it's not coming back to the to the end user with such a small percentage. What's your take on someone like that? He's saying that they're constantly talking about the online shopping stuff, but they're keeping away from it for now. They're gone. You reckon? Yep. If if they if they hold fast to that, they're gone. If they've used that as a ploy to get back in the paper, so we talk about them, smart move. But if they actually mean it and they want to do that over the long haul, they're gone. I, don't, I haven't spoken to a millennial yet that enjoys going shopping. I haven't spoken to an adult with kids yet that enjoys going food shopping. <laughs> no. Right? So um, that that would appeal. That that story would appeal to people who the kids have left the home and they've got lots of time on their hands. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, this is a bit maybe general, but maybe the 60, 65 pluses who enjoy going to a grocery shopping and picking up an apple and checking that it's the one they want. Mm -hmm. Right? They, they'll love it. For the rest of us, just get 10 apples to my house on Tuesday, you know, like, yeah. I, I think it's a really bad move. That'd be my guess. Yeah. And, and we'll replay this in three years when we do another news wrap and Richie's have just gone under because they held fast to it. I hope they don't, but I think that's probably what would happen. And um, if they've just used it as a ploy to get some media, super smart. <laughs>